Hello, Blade Knights. Clawblade here, and before we get started, I just want to say thank you so much for all the support. We reached over 100 subscribers in such a short time, and it really means a lot to me that you guys are really interested in the content that I'm producing for you guys. I can't express how happy I am that we've reached such a milestone, in my opinion. I know it might not be such a huge milestone, only 100 subscribers, but uh, it's a big one for me. So once again, thank you so much. But anyway... It looks like Cryptic has posted some new information in a blog about changes coming to Module 20 regarding campaigns. In this video, I'll be going over said changes being talked about so you can stay updated before release. These changes are not live yet, so take advantage of any time you might have before the changes come to the live servers and consoles. So now that that's out of the way, let's dive right into the info. So for starters, the new Sharandar Plus campaign, as stated in my previous video, will be divided into three mini campaigns. Much like the Redeemed Citadel event, this campaign will offer various rewards as you progress. Mostly cosmetic, but it is a little different than most campaigns in the past, and somewhat of a nice change. As with all campaigns, you will also be able to earn boom points as you progress. Players will have to have an item level of 40,000 to start the campaign. Cryptic has also stated that there will be an event running for the first two weeks of the module launching that will disable the item level requirement. So as long as you complete the intro quest, and get into the new social hub within the first two weeks, anyone below the item level requirement will be able to access the content, as well as be scaled up to 40,000 while in the new zones. With the new Sharonur campaign releasing, also comes the removal of the old one currently available. This will include the actual progressive campaign, as well as the zones that went with them. If you're worried about not being able to obtain those boons though, not to worry. The old boon points will line up with the new ones, so any missed will be added to boon tasks later in the campaign. So if you receive the first two boons from old Sharandar, but not the third to the fifth, then the first two boon tasks in the new Sharandar will award one boon point, and the third, fourth, and fifth tasks will award two boon points. Also, all currency used in old Sharandar campaign will become obsolete. This will be shown in an obsolete category in the Riches tab. You will be able to exchange these with the Antiquities Scholar in Protector's Enclave, hopefully for usable currency in the new campaign. Campaign keys for both Malabar Castle and Master of the Hunt will be now found in the Wunchers Bazaar for 2,500 Astro Diamonds and are available to be collected once per day. I'm glad that players won't miss out on boon points from the old campaign or have stocked up currency go to waste, but it would still be nice to keep the campaign for story content that ties into the new Sharandar. And that's everything. What are your thoughts on the new information? Hope to see something turn up somewhere in the campaign? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. Be sure to leave a like if you found this video helpful, and if you want to catch more videos like this in the future, please consider subscribing. Also, be sure to follow me on Twitch where you can find me live streaming every weekend. So thank you so much for watching guys and gals, and I will see you all in the next video. Clawblade, signing off.